There we go. Oh, it's... Well, okay. It's corn versus necromantic. Kandorian okay. demons. And I'm giving away 70k. Uh, which he can't get anything for, so I don't really mind that much. Let's see what we're, uh, see what we're gonna get. Okay, you got a babe. Oh, and he's got a guy who's holding onto the ball. Oh, that's nice of him. Guard might, mighty blow piling on. Guard. Oh, they're named after Evil Dead characters. Yeah. I'll name you after Evil Dead characters. Wow. Alright. Hey. Okay, go on then. <laughs> yeah, let's hear it, tough man. Not right now. Christ. So Don't when? Put me on the like this. How many Evil Dead characters do you know? Well, that's why I had to start using bit part demon number 44. <laughs> I feel like that's, uh... <laughs> I bet, he could, I bet he could use, like, every dude in Army of Darkness. Yeah. <laughs> like, all the different skeletons as well. Yeah, and the knights, and... The witch all of them. in the well thing. The witch in the well thing. The, uh, mini ashes. Mini ashes, the evil old ash skeleton. The book. The book. Um... Uh, the S-Mart employees. Yeah, the S-Mart employees, the, the demon at the end, an S-Mart. The ruined city, also at the end. Yeah. Well, an entire city name for one player. Yes. Yeah. Well, he he comes home late. Remember? <laughs> well, at least he, he well he comes home late in. Yeah, in one ending. Yeah. In one ending, he wakes up late, and in the other ending, he works at a smart again. I like the ending where he comes home late. Okay, he wants to see. Uh, let's see. What does his flesh golems have? Block, block. How much guard do you have? You've got one guard, guard. Okay, uh... Um, a guy mentions about piling on and tackle on the Bloodthirster. Frenzy is a poor man's tackle, and because the Bloodthirster has wild animal, he keeps his tackle zones even when he flips out. So you want him standing up all the time, and piling on with him means that he's not standing up doing the weird tackle zone thing that is good in this game. Army of Darkness is the third Evil Dead film? Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but that said, uh, the second, yeah. the first, and the second one are essentially the same movie. Basically. Uh, so. And they're like a completely different tone to Army of Darkness, aren't they? Uh, the first one is. The second one is. The second one and the third one. You can, t if if you want to watch the good ones, just watch the second one and the third one because they're funny. The first one is supposed to be scary. But it ends up being kind of ridiculous. There's some pretty cool sequences in it, though. Yeah. Yeah. But not as cool as all of number two and three. Yeah, it's a completely different kind of film to the other two. Uh, Why do you have a Corn Herald? Because he's got Wrestle. I love to wrestle. And I, I want this. Uh, I want my leader to stay alive until I've used the reroll. And same with my dirty player until I use dirty player. And I could either either I want all guard on the line, or I don't want any guard on the line. See now he's committed. He's committed his flesh golem. He's committed his two whites. This one's got guard mighty blow, so he might as well try and hit one of these guys that actually have armor value eight. Uh, and well, that's it basically. Yeah, the, um, the guy who's surprised that flesh golems didn't have more SPP. Flesh golems don't ever get it. Yeah, they move they move too slow to handle the ball, and so they only get casualty SPPs there. A lot like black orcs and stuff. Yeah. The fact that he's managed the the fact that he's managed to get block on both of them is pretty good. And two, let's see, did. Oh yeah, it high kick. Okay, so 
that's really good. Because that stops this werewolf from uh, from trying to block this guy. Kind of, I guess. Yeah, especially now. No, hang on. No, it doesn't. Because that's a push. So that's no. He he can he can block this guy if he wants to. Um, it's probably not a good thing to do though, because he's going to come base to base contact with these guys. Um, the reason of this, like, this is normally, this is my default uh, defensive line. Uh, I could have, since I've got so much guard, I could have kept everyone closer. I did not want to do that for the simple reason that he's got a really fast werewolf here. And he had one over here. I didn't know where he, he was going to put them. So I didn't want to give him the option of running around. I want to make sure that all of his players were, like, over here currently. Because he's going to he's gonna make a cage around here somewhere. And the thing is, not to brag or anything, but I'm pretty decent at, you know, busting up cages because I've got so much frenzy. You know what I really liked? The old version of Stand Firm. Where I don't... Th I, I'm not actually 100% sure because I play so seldom I play with Stand Firm. Uh, but it used to be that if you had Stand Firm and failed your dodge, you just stood around. Yeah, yeah, you did. You just you just go and I I move in. Yeah, it was really good. So you can put it on, on like strong big guys that had low agility. Oh, it's gonna be no. it's gonna be a foul. No. And <laughs> uh, he uh, they'll just like they try to dodge out and move and I'm like uh no. Well, I don't want to move right now, so I'm just gonna stay put. Uh, let's see. What do you have? Do you have anything cool? No. Um, uh, Evil Moss is talking about how uh, it's difficult to block without block, uh, even with flesh guns with the strength advantage, you know, because you, cause you get two die blocks on everything, and like, yeah, you, you're still going to get bad results, but you get two dice, and all you need is anything but skull on both down, on, two, on both of them. And you're good. Like that's how Chaos Warriors get skills and Blackhawks. Blocking, like they're not bad at blocking. They're just not invincible. Uh, do, do. Okay, so we're gonna move him over there. And this guy over there to once again stop this, and then we're gonna see if we can get a blitz on over here. Yeah. Well, that went well. Um, okay. That's not how that's supposed to work. Uh, because I... Actually, I don't know anymore, but I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. Because I have Stand Firm. Stand Firm should allow me to push people around. Nope. As in... Well, no, I mean, I've got Juggernaut. Juggernaut. Yeah. Is, uh, you did. You did. You didn't use Juggernaut. Oh well, that's why then. You just. You just. You just knocked him over. <laughs> I might. Juggernaut not. only put. Uh, juggernaut will only push when you actually use it. Let's see. Do I'll... Here's the thing. I can't really. It would be lovely to do this block here, uh, but if I don't knock him down. It's going to be two dice against, which I don't want. So, uh, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, in, in case people are wondering why I don't have Juggernaut turned on at all times, because people are sa saying that you you always you're always asked. Don't trust Cyanide. Basically, never trust him. Yeah, never. Uh, I, I mean, it's it, it's. I mean, sure, yeah, it always asks, but I don't trust Cyanide. I trust them completely. Oh, don't do it. Uh, 
so we'll see what happens here. He he needs to make a choice. He can either run around and try and get rid of this guy. Uh, but since I have a guard guy here as well, he's gonna have to. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit tricky for him. So I guess he's gonna try and go through here. Like this is. I'm kind of playing elf defense here. Uh, because he's actually faster than me. So I want to hem him in as much as possible and make the most use out of my guard that I can. And now this where we're stuck in a much better position for me. Uh, he can run through here now, though. Like, if he wants to, but I don't... I'm not sure he will. He doesn't have that much space. He's got two, two squares here so he can move. But he can't outrun me. Uh, now the flesh golem. Okay, so now he can't actually move. This is. He might b be building a cage here, which is a pretty strange place to build a cage. No, he can't because I've got my blood left. This. I don't know why he did this, because this is essentially not getting him anywhere. If anything, it's getting my bloodthirster closer to the ghoul. He really likes to punch ghouls, by the way. He's really good at that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see here. Um, oh, I can't get over that. Okay. Um... Oh, right, I stood that guy up, so I can't move him. Let's see, do we have anything fun over here we can do? Um, not really, because it's going to be a one die block afterwards. So the question is, what else do we do first? And I think we actually try and run in and st st stir some shit up, actually. Um, no, I can't do that. But I... I think I want to do this. Let's see. Yeah, this should be fine. You see you don't have guard? No. I've got three dice on you, though. Do you have sidestep? No, you don't. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so that actually makes a difference. So, for that reason, I'm going to move this guy over here. And I'm going to blitz this werewolf. Would you say you're going to pound the werewolf? No, I'm going to blitz him. And that's 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 great, but it's actually not what I wanted. Uh, it's not bad or anything. It's just that I would have loved to push him once, because that. Well, then why didn't you pick push? Uh, because I am not going to say no to a power. Yeah, you're not going to you're not going to say no to power in a werewolf. Oh, <laughs> okay. Damn. Power that one also. There you go. You've been rewarded for not choosing the shove by removing the two best players in the game. Uh, once again, it would be lovely to block this guy because there's mighty block guard piling on white. Uh, but if I just push him back, it's going to go against me on, ne on the next block. So I'm not going to mm -hmm. do that. What if you block him down? How do you, what do you mean? No, you couldn't. Uh, the only re the only person I could block with was Fun Love and Criminals. Yeah, don't do it with that guy. Nope. The the zero SPP. Yeah, I, I, fight occultist. It would have been lovely to to block with Echo and the Barley Men. Um, 
but unfortunately that was impossible. And I, oh, yeah, well, well, you know what, let's do that for now. Okay, uh, so, well, he's pretty surrounded. And I got rid of the fastest players. He still have players that are faster than me. Uh, but now he doesn't have... Uh, now that the werewolves are out, he can't actually... Before, he could r run really far with the ghoul to get kind of out of range and then use his werewolves to block because they also have... Re they've got movement 8, so they can run much further and I wouldn't be able to uh, run up to him and uh, base him if he uh, wanted to do that. Now that he's only got the ghoul, so it's going to be much harder for him to do that because he doesn't have the fast backup. Yeah, he's got the second ghoul, which... Um, I'm not sure what happened here, but you don't put kick on your ghouls, guys. Uh, because ghouls are actually useful. You put, uh, you put, you always put utility skills such as kick or leader on your uh, shitty lineman. Yeah. You can put leader on your thrower. Yeah, but thrower. Yeah. The reason but, you but put that... leader on your thrower is because because it's thrower, passing access yeah. only. Exactly. But if you roll a double on a shitty lineman of some kind, and you already have like three and stuff, yeah, give him. Wouldn't give him you guard? Leader. No, not if you like. It totally depends on what team you're playing, how much a reroll costs, what it's worth. Uh, a leader may well be worth it, especially if you're playing in a uh, tournament or close league setting where team value matters. In that case, you pick leader. Uh, it's also in those cases where you put leader on your thrower because it doesn't uh, bloat your TV as much. But yeah, TV. Uh, I mean, leader. Good. It's a utility skill. So, that this guy has eaten blocks. No, I, I can't remember who ate the other ones. But I'm really pleased with the uh, blocking uh, that's going on. Uh, Baron Goyen, ne Necromantic have eight positionals and three zombies. Uh, but get another zombie f to have kick on. Or to foul with. Or to foul with. Okay, so this is not a good place for Cage. I think everyone knows why. Is it because it's completely surrounded? Uh, kind of. Uh, but it's also because the uh, the cage started out being based by this guy, so I can block this and then blitz. Uh, a proper secure cage, you don't want any of the corners based when your turn's over. I don't think he had much choice with the limited amount of players he has. Uh, he could have, yeah, he could have had the bolt carrier over here instead. Uh, but yeah, it's it's always going to be difficult. Um. Yeah, leader is a free team reroll as long as the player is on the pitch, and it hasn't been used. It's per half. Is it per half? Yeah, it's, yeah, per, it's half. per half. Yep. Okay, let's see. What do we want to do? I could push this guy around, uh, but there's a guard over there, which once I follow through, I'm not going to get guard from this guy, and this guy is not giving me any assists right now. Uh, so what I kind of want to do is, I want to block here, let's see, one, uh, no, I'm not, once again, I would, I would have loved to push him further, but I'm just not, like, I'm not going to risk it, besides, he, this guy's really good at blocking, so, 
let's see. Oh, but we can do we can do this now. Well, not that, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> That's not what I intended. I I want to see if I could push him. Uh Let's see, do you have guard? Yeah, you do, unfortunately. You did You did push him in a way. Yeah. Now there we go. Now we've got some guard in here. Well, just think of the chain pushing. So uh, <laughs> uh, damn it. <laughs> Here's the problem. My guy caught it. I've used my reroll this turn, so I don't want to dodge out because I don't want to give him an ability to pick another it chance up. to yeah. pick it up. Yeah. So mm. basically, when you pit fighter just punch the first one. Uh, he might be able to actually. Let's see, yeah, he can. Do you have anything? You got leader. Uh, let's. He can't hand off because he did a blitz. Yep. If if you do a blitz, you can't do any other action. Yeah. He's got stuff, yeah. Oh well. And uh, in that case, it would probably have been better to not use Stand Firm. Uh, because at least he would have pushed the Flesh Golem backwards, but he would have pushed this guy into the scrum. And I would have been forced to push one of these guys somewhere else. And I probably would have pushed this ghoul over here. No, I would have pushed this white down here. Like that. But um, that was a really good turn. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Just like the last turn, that was really good. Okay, so let's see what he's going to do. He's, he is in the unfortunate position that I... I think I have more guard than him. I think he's only got guard on his whites that are currently... Well, except for this one. Lying down. I don't think he's got it on the... No, he's only got block on them. Uh, so... Uh, he's kind of stuck in the middle. I have annoying guard a bit, like, all over the place. Uh, well, actually, mostly down here. That's actually not that bad for me, I don't think. Yeah, because he can't... Uh, he doesn't have any players that can get over him. While I do. Let's see, where's my plus guy? Is he up here? Nope. So that guy, oh, so that guy, yeah, it's that guy. Okay, um, so that's a one time currently. Let's see, what else can we do here? Because I want to, I want to run that guy out to get the ball. Um, hmm. Oh, this guy's actually legit free, so... If I put him here, then he can... Actually, I probably... Prob no, I want, I want him over here. Ah, oh, I should have put him one space up, that was stupid of me. Uh, but we'll sort that out later first. Let's do this. Let's re-roll that. And let's chain push. No. 
now this guy's free to pick up the ball, and we can put him over here. So he's at least next to some lovely people. He's not going to do anything with the ball currently. He's just going to hold on to it. And let's see if the thirster wants to do anything. Nope. But hey, he's the bloodthirster, so he's still Scott. He's still got guard. That's how awesome they are. Um. And I don't think I've used. I haven't used Francie. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where you do the important stuff first, people. <laughs> uh, a never-ending lesson of Knorr. Mm -hmm. We all learned something today. Don't say poor Knorr. <laughs> he's just had two really good turns, and he's stolen the ball. Uh, Juggernaut doesn't protect you against skulls, it only protects you against both downs. Um, which is, well, Pow Skull. There's nothing that protects you from skulls, nothing except Nothing protects rerolls. you from skulls, yeah. What about some kind of crash helmet? Nope. Nope. That protects the skull, that, that, that protects the skull, not you from skulls. The skull can't get to you then. No, because they're already there. Also, if you're wearing a crash helmet, that means you can't get away from your own skull, which is doubly terrifying. Exactly. <laughs> Just no way it's going to get out. Ah, yeah. Fucking skulls. Fucking skulls. Thick I just skull. like thought. Thick skull makes it worse. It makes the skull even more scary. Yeah. I just thought like we'd evolved past having to need skulls. I mean, it's 2013, guys. <laughs> Welcome I to the future. I can see God. needing skulls in the year 2000 and 2001, like that era around yeah, the scary early, 9 11. Early 2000s. Like, yeah, pre 9 11. And, e and like even around 9 11, with all the buildings falling down all the time. But yeah. nowadays, nah. We live in a post, uh, post skull world. It's a skull eat skull world, <laughs> maybe. Oh my god, that's the most terrifying thing I've ever heard. What is it? Heard much. A skull eat skull world. That's not that terrifying, it's just the. I prefer the skull eat skulls. It's the natural skulls, uh, no. order of the world. <laughs> the natural order of skulls. I'm pronouncing skulls with a Z at the end, by the way. Skulls. And at the start. There's lots of different sorts of skulls, skulls. as well. It's like, it's like cat eat mouse. Skull eat skull. Mm. Yeah, cat skull, it's mouse skull. But not a dog skull. No. Dog skull eat uh, cat skull, though. What about a really tiny dog? And a big cat? Okay, um... Nope. What about a lion? Nope, it's not actually... Yeah, lion, lions scared of dogs because they're a cat. Put a chihuahua in front of a lion, lion's done. It's over. I'm not sure <laughs> I believe this animal. That's, that's why... That's why celebrities have chihuahuas and carry around in bags in case a lion or tiger attacks them, they can pull it out and scare it off. Yep. Didn't that happen in Snakes on the Plane? Pretty sure it happened in Snakes on the Plane. Pretty sure. Probably. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, let's see here. Hyenas aren't dogs. You son of a bitch, leopard flesh. It's like he doesn't even want to be right. Okay, uh, let's see. If I run around this way... Then I can... Okay, how far can you go? Can you can get over there. <laughs> and then, if I run this way, and go stand over there, and that's... that means you can go stand over there. Trubetsko is on fire today! What's he saying? Trubetsko is always Good on Lord fire! Trubetsko is burning to death horribly. What's he saying? 
What's he uh, saying? He, he, he just did a lovely little picture for Kano teaches Tom how to play football. I like the intro someone made based on the... Yeah. <laughs> well, turns out the Oats video. is shit at catching the ball because he fucking snake died of it. Sorry, Oats. Then again... Oh, no, he's really good at catching the more ball. More importantly, That's the why bounce... That's seems more shameful. Yeah, but the bounce was also a one. And that's a really good bounce. <laughs> Damn, nice. I like how there's three or four different fonts in that as well. You, sh you should also <laughs> put when Tom's not eating, because he's all constantly eating. I'm constantly hungry. That's just how I live my life. Me, yeah. I'm just constantly thirsty. Mm. I'm just and fed drunk. up. Wow. Get it? I'm, const Get I'm it. constantly tired. Fed so, up. Full of tea. Are you tired of IB's bullshit? <laughs> yes. No, he loves my bullshit. Also, together we sort of make a person. <laughs> <laughs> together we're three of the seven dwarves. <laughs> Sleepy, hungry, and thirsty. Together we can do anything socially the acceptable. <laughs> the worst planet is. <laughs> oh, Captain Planet turned up and he's just really grumpy. Oh, look at those mace altars, like, uh, I'm, I'm not going to get pushed around. Well, I'm going to get pushed around, I'm not going to get knocked down. Because that's just not me. Oh, holy crap, H H Hall can almost level up again, so he's going to have to go steal the ball. Fucking Hall, mate. Look at it. <laughs> he's he's like 4 SPP from a level. Well, isn't that lovely? Yes, yes it is. Pretty lovely. Yep, okay, uh, so, to keep the lov lovely going... Oh, that's, that's really good, thank you. Oh, yes, excellent. Very good. Uh, let's, uh, let's see then. Uh, luckily, like for me, since I stole all of his werewolves, he doesn't have any of that lovely fast movement we were talking about before. The easiest way to think about, um, like, Frenzy, where you follow up and stuff, is, uh, like, it's, if you, like, it's, you follow up with a Frenzy and throw another block if you get a push or Defender Stumbles and they're still standing. So if you just think of it as Dodge turns Defender Stumbles into push, and Juggernaut turns both down into push, it's just, you follow up when you shove someone, and automatically throw a block if they're still standing with Frenzy. Whereas if you just both down a guy, you just stop because you're done. You two guys just sit there hugging each other. And in the game, <laughs> whenever I play competitive games, I always have to be uh, facing the other person so that I can just hug them in a vice-like grip throughout the entire time we're playing. Okay, let's see. It kind of makes some hard, some games harder. Yeah. No. That's, that's that's why it lost to me. It makes risk very difficult. <laughs> I can't believe Ivy's still talking about the time he beat me at League of Legends yeah. years ago. <laughs> Twice. Remember that Twice. one time? Twice. <laughs> Twice. Twice. Remember those two times once long ago? It's it's just because I'm so mad at Tom going to eat after he suggested real play. What Son the fuck? Bitch. Don't waste the reroll on the first go. Here's here's what I'm trying to do. I want to get over there so I can get an assist on this block here. Uh, but I can't do that unless... Like, I want to be safe with it, so I want to do this G5. But now that I've lost my last reroll, I don't feel that safe. So, to be a boring fucker, I'm going to instead do this. And worry about the ball, well, in a bit, actually. Um, also, to people in the chat, the reason... I Just because IB beat me, that's not the reason why I don't like League of Legends. I've got a laundry list of reasons why I don't like League of Legends, but that's for another stream. I think we actually yeah. already had that stream, never mind. Yeah, it's not just because IB beat Is it because you have to do all their laundry? Because you have a laundry list. Yeah. And they've got a lot like, of characters and a lot of clothes. <laughs> they don't have very many clothes, though. We've seen half the female characters. Oh! Boom. All the female characters, more like... Actually, yeah. I don't know... Evans... When I stopped playing, Leona was the only one with clothes on. 
<laughs> I think we made some new ones. New clothes for Leona or new ones with No, clothes? new, new, new uh, well, clothes. The, there was that Naga that had a flamenco shirt on, even though she... It was, like, even though she had, it wasn't a shirt, it was just like skin flaps. <laughs> yeah, it was really weird. But like, in Dota, Naga Siren is literally topless. And it's less sexually explicit than this character who's got skin flaps that kind of look like a shirt that's pressing together into a cleavage. <laughs> Why does the fish need boobies anyway? Don't know. Because it's cool. <laughs> I'm glad we're talking about this. You guys, yeah, you guys don't know shit about fish, fish girls. Fish of boobs. <laughs> Someone <laughs> did not see uh, what's it called? No, that's the kind of fisherman's friend that I really like. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. It's actually a manatee. That's the best part. Oh well, skull into push. That's not good for you. Skull into push. Skull. Push. Here's the thing. I really want Walt to level up again, but honestly, I'm not gonna. You, you also want to score? Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. Because you're really close to scoring. Yep. Yeah, also, right. uh, to the people in the chat, it, again, it's not because I don't like boobs, it's because I'm afraid of them. It's different. <laughs> a, a nice, respectful fear. <laughs> <laughs> I keep my distance. <laughs> and now... And now that man can run into the, the end zone. Yeah, but I'm not going to do that yet. Also, uh, Sweetwater D said boobs and anything is a plus. And, well... What about I a boob think... on a skull? <laughs> I was going to say, what about a boob on a lamppost? Remember in Junic and Fred when there was a boob on a wall? Yes. And you can walk up and slap it. And he'd make, like, remarks on it. But still, my <laughs> favorite, my favorite thing in Duke and Confrever wasn't even that. But the one time you're, like, in some sort of maintenance corridor, and you can go to, like, a, there's, like, a laptop in there, presumably of, like, an engineer or a janitor who works let's, here? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Here's the thing. If I wanted to be smart, I would score next turn. The reason I score yes. next turn is because then it's turn 8, and he's got three people knocked out. If I score now... He, he gets double chances. He gets double chances. So... And also, he's necromantic, and if his two werewolves and ghoul come back, then he's actually got like a really good chance of a two-turn touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, the, there's a laptop and like a, a maintenance tunnel, and as Duke Nukem, you can sit down and browse softcore porn on the laptop while making remarks to the ladies. It's just oh, such yeah. a sad thing. Uh, <laughs> I I played the Fear Co-op mod with Munin, and there's a level that's um, the facility from uh, Goldeneye, and there's a mm. safe. There's like a really big safe, and you can crawl in. If you crawl in, you fall through the bottom, and you go into a room. And in the room, it just plays a video of, of softcore porn of two ladies. Oh my god! It's really yeah. So I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't really expecting yeah. it when I crawled in the safe. I'll be honest. So in case people are wondering <laughs> what I was, uh, why I did that with the dodge and the, then GFI to get an assist, it's because had I failed this, not the end of the world. I he would have been able to dodge out and run around, but it, it's a few rolls. Uh, this way. Uh, I this was still risky, but I've done all the important bits, so it was because I these guys are not going to be able to get up here. Uh, the one that's a risk right now is this guy, and he's only going to be able to get a one die block because I stunned everyone else. Yeah, you beat him up really good. Uh, so that's why I did that. Like this, moving this guy was risky. In a sense, but it was not risky. It wouldn't change anything up top if I failed here to the worse. And if it doesn't and I've done everything else, then do it. Because uh, the payoff, having an assist and being able to block that guy either backwards or block him down, is just worth it. Also, I'm really confused. I was really confused before because I'm still used to... Uh, the cornflakes having this red team color because I think we've had it at some point. So I'm yeah. Like, what? We know. Yeah, that's where we started. Thing? Yeah, and then it kept changing and going wrong. Okay, let's see. Here we go. I like the current and he's color. Bro. A lot, and it's a power. 
Maybe it's to simulate the blood drying up. Let's see. Yeah, well, when my blood dries up, it turns yellow too. Okay, so he managed, no, not not he managed to knock me down. Uh, I can. <laughs> and then he fell down. Yep. Sorry, hey, you were to school with the other dude anyway. Yep. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this freely safe. Let's see. Can you, if I do this, can you get over. Yeah, you can. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I might fail this pickup. Uh, so, I'm going to put. Like, everyone here. So, the reason these guys are going to stand here is because if I fail the pickup, I have three. Every, if it scatters into the end zone, they still have a shot at catching <laughs> it. Yeah. And can still score. Or I'll just pick it up and run in. Or it's scattered somewhere else. So, yes! Excellent! <laughs> that's, that's a good way to end the first half. See you guys in the second half, YouTube.